So here are my thumb, both the thumb on the tibial condyle. Look how much it's sh coming up. Look at this. That's way too much lax, isn't it? Three, two, one. Oh. And relax. Oh, dang it! Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Hi everyone, welcome back to Remove Pain Clinic channel. We have our patient who has come all the way from Europe. He got a ski injury and an accident and that's why he has come to us um, to get his left knee joint fixed. Before we discuss a little bit about the MRI of what we saw, I'll just ask him as to where he's from, um, how he heard about us and then uh, we'll go from there. So um, welcome to India and as well in Kolkata. Tell us, where are you from? Romania. Romania. Could you tell us a little bit uh, in terms of how you got your left knee injured? The left knee insurance is getting the, the ski is getting stuck in the snow and they are slicing in the, uh, because of the weight and the... Got it. Got it. And getting uh, slight. So, uh, right. And then yeah. you, did you hear any pop, any kind of noise, only sound, the, anything? Only the muscle, I feel it. I All right. Any noise. So where, where exactly was the On pain? On the muscle, the pain. Ah, got it. it. So, so my belief is he probably have some, you know, uh, gastrocnemius muscle injury, like calf in essentially. So the lateral part of the gastrocnemius is where he had a shear force. Shear is something when your tibia, this is the leg, is actually grinding against the femur, which basically is the thigh, and going forward when your foot is stuck in the snow. That's what his case is. And because of this, the muscle, probably the origin of that muscle is a little bit torn and by that I mean there could be grade 1 or grade 2 sprain that he had for the lateral head of gastrocnemius but we did an MRI and we unfortunately found that he has a ruptured ACL and also a meniscal uh, you know partial tear he has a lot of effusion or fluid collection in the left knee but before going towards the treatment let us ask him as to how you find us right so how did you find me we find you in the internet by mother-in-law there you go on the so internet. on the internet so his mother-in-law is indian she follows me in the internet uh, meaning social media facebook or youtube and she insisted him to come over here and meet up with me so that's why he's here so without further ado let's get going in terms of resetting the joint but please be aware of i cannot heal the tear of the acl or the meniscus but i can reset the joint to improve his mobility his both static and dynamic stability and also to improve or reduce the effusion that he has but the torn part will remain as is and he has to do an arthroscopy at some point of time but he's extremely young and my bet is he can overcome this condition uh, favorably if he follows a good exercise regime and he yes. will do it right for sure so uh, currently when I was assessing I saw that his left SI joint is also a little bit up or posteriorly rotated so I'm going to shift this more downwards so that his entire limb is aligned the innominate bone is aligned along with the hips obviously the knee so let's go and ahead and do it I'll be using the chiropractic drop table all right are you okay mm -hmm. okay I, I do. My wife also knows skiing, but she's an, quite a no, novice on that. And relax. Oh, dang it! Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Right, you yeah. got it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Is this your first like chiropractic session yeah. ever? Yeah. Man, he would be stoked, isn't it? All right, awesome. Oh, man, crispest. All right, relax. Done deal. All right, right now we are focusing on the left hip joint and resetting that. Then we'll do the knee joint and then the ankle and the foot. So let's take a look over here. Oh man, that's like a pull of a lifetime you got. So right now we are doing a very different technique which basically will reduce the inguinal strain of the left side. So you can take a look of how I'm doing it. I'll do a little bit in this position because his knee has a lot of effusion right now. 
that's it done it's like a soft touch that you do I'll do it in another angle three two one done and now we'll do a little bit of a glide anterior shear of the tibia just to check the laxity yes it is loose then come and take a look so here are my thumb both the thumb on the tibial condyle look how much it's sh coming up look at this that's way too much lax isn't it so obviously as we discussed we cannot fix the tear but we can certainly make it better by improving the static and dynamic stability of the muscles but before that, we'll go to tibio tibio fibular, um, you know, glides. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. We are getting like super pops. All right, patellar and done. One more time. All right, we are doing right now a little bit of a posterior reset. So it has a very specific angle and a very specific localized motion three two one pop done we'll do a little bit of a distraction in a open pack today first done or rather crossing the knee joint <sighs> dang all right i'm using a foot and ankle thrust help with this tool to improve the talus on the telocrural joint mechanics and three two one got it one more time three two one there we go there so right now i'm going to do a little bit of an opening technique on the popliteus muscle so three two one bam three two one internal there you go with a different angular position this helps a lot in reducing effusion by sucking in or creating sudden um, decompression use the popliteal opening and closing technique oh. so right now i'm actually trying to release the popliteus look at the amount of effusion and the strain that the popliteus muscle is taking in so let's see how we can help him out and there you go another twist done all right do a little bit of a distraction relax at 10 degrees to 20 degrees done with a little bit of external rotation at 10 20 all right so we are at the end of the treatment he actually took a walk up and down the stairs and how, how do you feel amazing he's very good very good. very good so so in terms of pain you honestly did not have pain per se no. when you came in but you had a tightness yes and making stiff. the crash you cannot uh, move correct it's like a stiff. Starting is stiff. correct so what did you feel now or no, if you release is everything loose and everything so he is feeling pretty loose about in the knee area so obviously we are not done we have to give him a, a customized exercise program and he's gonna come back whenever he's back in india um which probably i have no idea when you will know, be maybe in december maybe in january. december or january so at some point of time he has to undergo arthroscopy but uh the later is better a little bit later is better um, right now he's extremely young to do that I do not want him to go through that process at this point of time if he's able to manage it with conservatively if not then alternative of doing um, an arthroscopy but uh, until then we will keep track of him through emails and whatsapp and then we'll go from there so thank you again for uh, watching and then please do like subscribe share um, and do comment on how you liked it um, if you or anyone you know have some kind of athletic injury like him please call us our phone numbers are at the end of the video or given in the description box. Give us a call between Monday to Saturday between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. Until next time. All right. So stay fit, stay healthy.